How is it going everybody? Today I am showcasing you another rig. Um, I just finished that. Uh, this rig I'll be showcasing yesterday. And it's called the Pixel, Lost Pixel Rig. Um, uh, yeah, it's the version 5. And it's available on Selfie after I've uploaded this video. So when you watch this, you can get it. Um, if you've already bought the the rig, you can just re-download it on Selfie, or you can check your mail, and you'll get the download from there. So when you download the rig, you get this WinRAR folder or this um, this file. And you just open that file and you get some textures and this lib4d file um, with the rig in it. So you just double click on it and it has textures in it again and additional heads. Um, just use map for you to so just don't have to go through that mess. So yeah, if you if you want to extrude the head or or any kind, you can just use them just for extrusion purposes. Uh, and you've got the rig in there. Um, it's black now because there's no texture on it yet. Just put a texture in there, and I'll fix that. So what I've done with this rig is. I've added a lot of features which you'll see in this showcase and yeah if if this rig uh, is laggy on your PC uh, change it to a uh, level of detail change that to low that will yeah it'll make it less smooth but you can just turn on LD for rendering and it'll be smooth in the in the renderer just so it isn't laggy so what you've got is this controller with the user data and I'll cover this in the end of the video and you, this controller you can rotate just normal you can move it and you've got this lag controller which has user data. Um, yeah, the user data you can change because it has ankle, f um, fence feet, and rigid bands now. You can change that to ankle feet and smooth bands if you like that more. The ankles are better than in the last version, so that's, that's a good thing. Um, I suggest when you've got smooth bands, don't use the ankle uh, fence feet. It's just that I don't like them the way they look done. But if you do, you can just use it. I don't mind. Um. Yeah. Then you've got the stretching of the leg because the leg doesn't stretch normally. Just turn that on and it'll stretch the leg just like that it's the same for the other leg just so you know it's always like that um, you can rotate the controller which will uh, change the offensive feet and the ankle feet and it'll rotate the leg and you can also rotate the leg with this pole um, then you've got this root controller, which moves and rotates the upper body. And you've got a hidden controller right here. And that's just for like this um, hip, pelvis kind of thing. And I mostly use it for you when I want to rotate 
only the lower part of the body. Then you've got this pelvis kind of thing. Um, and this like moves the up also the upper part of the body, not uh, lower. I mean lower part of the body, but also a bit of the upper. And it's the same for the rotation. It rotates the lower part and the upper part. But I like that more. And you've got this um, upper body controller which bends the body um, when you move it and also bends it a bit when you rotate it. So yeah, um, that was the body. Now we move on to the arms. And the arms are new. I added a lot of stuff to them. If you look at the version 4 and now to the to this version, I've added some stuff. Yeah. Um so you've got this controller and you just move it to adjust the the arm position a bit and you've got this um arm controller. It's just the same as the leg controller, just bend the arm. And for some reason it's on smooth bends. Which shouldn't be like that because it should be on rigid bend. Um, yeah, so you've got rigid and smooth bends just like leg. Uh, these two are for the fingers, which I'll show you in a bit. Then you've got the stretching of the arm which isn't as good at with the leg if you want it to be better just move this um, end controller of the arm so yeah and when you reset your star it'll be like this um so I'll show you the fingers in a bit, just um, first the wrist, it's like, hidden in the arm, you can't really see it, but if you, you can click on there pretty easily, and you just rotate that, and it'll rotate the wrist, don't rotate it too much, because as you can see, you, it gets ugly. So just don't move, rotate it that much. Then you've got these fingers. Which you can select all or just individually. And slide out. And then you've got these um, other controllers for the lower, uh, the end part of the fingers. And yeah, you can just play around with it, um, rotate it, and yeah, that's with the, these fingers, you've got the thumb, it's just there, but I don't use it because I don't like it, so what I have done is, in this controller, you have this thumb, which I like more, and it'll, it'll make the a uh, normal thumb disappear and this one uh, appear and what I also do when I make this appear I um, I change the full arm bit um, I make that disappear because it, it looks a bit normal now it looks more normal so yeah that's what I do with with the fingers and thumb and this wrist works with the the fingers just fine. So yeah, that's the the, the fingers that were the thing. So then you've got the same tools as last version. And they're just like this, and you can change the the material just like normally 
that was the arm and that's also still the same for the other arm and you've got this pole that can rotate the arm then you've got this head which is better I guess much better than the last head I like this much much more actually you've got this controller which can rotate and it'll make uh, like the character look in different positions uh, directions and I've got to fix this tongue um, I'll fix that before I um, upload this to Selfie. So now I'll show you all the features of this control panel. What I've done is all the controllers of the face I've moved up here because it shows the face more and I like that. So you've got this mouse controller which opens and closes the mouth. You've got uh, these controllers on the side of it. Um, these like, control the emotion. You can select them both and make them smile and frown. And then you've got these teeth control. It opens and closes the teeth. Um, yeah, and you have the dimple kind of um, control and that's for this effect on the side like um, skin stretching I don't know I don't know what to call it and my mouse broke down great so yeah my mouse broke down and I get to I had to get new batteries so I'm back now <sighs> um yeah um yeah we were at this effect I don't know what's called it's just for the people who like it so <sighs> I'm exhausted from running um you have this white control it's for the nose and um, in the nose controller you have these nose types which apparently is broken so there's another thing I need to fix in the next version uh, <laughs> wait <laughs> I mean the the um, in the ver yeah before I upload it to Selfie, I need to change that. So then you've got this control, which is the female control. And it just changes the body to a female kind of character. And everything still works. I guess you can, what you can do is move these a bit more to the body like that and it'll look normal um yeah got some boobs and the body and the arms just get a bit smaller that's the female thing switch and you've got this filler to switch and it adds this nose you can just rotate um you got to what you gotta do is turn off this nose and you've got that lip it extends the the head a bit this lips moves with the mouth like that and for the unibrow um you can have these controllers, you can move them, and it'll rotate and it'll change the position of the eyebrow. And then you've got 
this controller for the middle part and if you want to move the middle part just select these two controllers and move it up and down like that and when you want to move it down and use this middle controller so yeah that's the villager um, switch I guess so and then you've got these controllers for the eyebrow size thickness if you don't like thick eyebrows I like thick eyebrows uh, uh, eyebrows so I use that then you've got the second layer which I've added again and it works completely fine um, it works with every bend it works with um, the female control switch so yeah that's just the uh, second layer I've added to the skin um, that was this part part of the control panel and you've got this middle part of the control panel you've got this um, these controllers for the mouth you just move them and it'll move the mouth and yeah you can move them out and in so and you've got for the eyes um, if that you have these controllers which are pretty messed up hmm Looks like I need to change some things in the final version of this. Yeah, the top one works. The bottom one should be like this. But yeah, I gotta change it. It's just for like, the top, um, I don't know, bending of the eyelid. And that's also with uh, this, this one. So, then you've got these, this eyebrow just rotates and bends it a bit this is for the end and again for the movement now what I like about this is when you have this pose you switch to you switch to um, the villager it still has that pose yeah I like that That were the eyebrows it's the same like for the other half of it and then you've got these two controllers are for pupils just move them around and this controller moves the face down like this when you, when you have a female character I don't know that looks better if you have a female skin um, then these two controllers are for the sizing of the pupils you have this care kind of pupils the cute big pupils cute yeah then this controller is for the separation of the eyes make a third face then this controller I wanted this to be the free look like the auto auto look for the head so it rotates the uh, head and moves the pupils and stuff but that didn't want to work so what I did was this just so it's question stretch and bending for the face. Like that. I didn't know what to add there and I didn't want to remove it so I just uh, did something like that. Then you have these um, slanting of the eyelids. Um, yeah. You, they just slant like these. It's for the bottom and the top. 
but the bottom ones I need to fix. And that'll be fixed in the version I put on to Selfie. And you have the eyelids closing. And if you have um, like um, this one pixel uh, high eyes, just close it more like this and move the pupils a bit. So yeah, that was the control panel, I guess. Um, now you've got the um, these data. You can change the. You can you can change the textures to different skins. And the skins were completely fine, except for this part. But you have to if it does this. You have to rotate that part in Photoshop or any skin editor. Then you have the mesh, uh, the mesh is it's just for the smoothness of the rig. Uh, you can use the none, it's just sharp earthy thing. Uh, just change it. I leave it at two in editor and three in renderer. Render is for um, when you render things out, even though this is at 1, the render will be at 3. No wait, you have to have LD for rendering on. Like that. Um, and the facial options in here are in the second layers. Got the auto extrusion like that, and the second layer, which isn't extruded. Um, yeah, the auto extrusion I like, but it has some errors with it. But yeah, you can uh, change the size of. It, how big it is, make it thinner and, and stuff. And you have the female eyebrows. You just show them more, move them down. They are like this. And currently there is another bug in here. There are a lot of bugs. I don't know why I know this now, but I, I didn't wait that right. <laughs> it looks like a moustache now. That's, that's cool. Alright, yeah, that's the female eyebrow. Yeah, the female character. Um, yeah, then you have the tongue. You can just um, make it disappear. Because you can you can't really change the you can you can bend the tongue or anything just there for, to be cool. And you have double pupils. Now I like those. They have two different colors and some reflection. And yeah. The double pupils, then you have the facial de deformation. Um, it's on now. Facial deformation. Yeah. Um, the deformation. You can you can see it a bit here. It's mainly for the mouth and for the um this uh, the. Uh, the eyes going down because if you have deformation it'll go weird like this um, yeah I just have it off by default um, and you've got all these colors you just can change it um, to whatever you like and 
you have different colors for each pupil and uh, for the double pupils there's one is for the top and two is for the bottom just so you know and then you have this but this isn't anything